Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, has been sworn in in Tehran at a ceremony which capped a weekend that also saw him endorsed by Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Iran's supreme leader. In a speech broadcast live on Iranian state television, Rouhani addressed the international community, saying, if you seek a suitable answer, speak to Iran through the language of respect, not through the language of sanctions. Rouhani was almost certainly referring to the sanctions Iran is currently under from the US and the UN over its refusal to halt uranium enrichment, a technology that can be used to power reactors producing electricity or build nuclear weapons. Rouhani said that his administration would be based on moderation and wisdom and revealed that a government priority would be to restore women's rights and establish equal opportunities for women in society. Rouhani's speech may be taken by some as evidence to support the label of moderate, which many applied to him when he won the presidential election on June 14th. But the Iranian leader has come in for criticism from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who says that Rouhani is in fact no different from his predecessor Mahmoud Ahmadinejad when it comes to his attitude toward Israel. Speaking during a cabinet meeting, Netanyahu referred to reports in Iranian media that Rouhani had called Israel a wound on the Muslim world that needs to be removed. The comments were said to have been made on Al-Quds Day, an annual event since 1979 when Iran shows solidarity with the Palestinian people and enmity towards the Jewish state. Iranian news agencies later said Rouhani had been misquoted, but nonetheless, Israeli ministers appeared to share Prime Minister Netanyahu's sentiments. Unfortunately, I think uh, President Rouhani showed us uh, so uh, fast and so soon that he, there is no difference between him and his predecessors. He himself uh, said once again that Israel has no right to exist, and I would like uh, to believe that the international community will realize that to deal with Rouhani is to deal with Ahmadinejad. They are the same. And it uh, means that uh, there is no way uh, to lift uh, the sanctions that were imposed uh, on Iran by the international community. Following his inauguration, Rouhani met Afghan President Hamid Karzai and Lebanese President Michel Suleiman, just two of the foreign dignitaries who came to Tehran for the swearing-in ceremony. Rouhani's presidency may signal a fresh start for Iran's relations with the international community. In a statement, the White House said that if the new government chooses to engage substantively and seriously to meet its international obligations, it will find a willing partner in the United States.